So, Thomas the Tank Engine. The original Thomas series turns 40 years old this year. And if you're like me, you had one of two reactions. One, oh Jesus, I'm getting old, oh Jesus, oh Lord, oh Jesus. And two, huh, you know I should probably do something to celebrate this. Because Thomas and Friends is a really important series to me. It's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I was addicted to this show as a kid. I had so many of the DVDs. I played with so many of the toys. I made my own little adventures. I was so addicted to this damn show that there was a toy shop about 40 minutes away from where we lived when I was a kid. And I would go into that toy shop all the time. Not to get any toys, but to play with the little Thomas and Friends setup they had. Yes, that's how much I loved these damn things. And this being Thomas Month on our What The Bleep YouTube channel, every time we do a special month, we like to have a special little top 5 that goes along with it. The last time one of these top 5 lists was done, it was by Sean, the local Star Wars shill, and he did his top 5 Star Wars novels. Since those are movies being transformed into books, I figured I'd go kind of the opposite route and see what happens when the Railway series that's already been transferred into a show gets transferred into movies. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you my top five Thomas the Tank Engine movies. Just a couple ground rules. I know I've already kept you from the list long enough, but just bear with me a little longer. Thomas has had a lot of movies, but he's also had a lot of specials. So what exactly qualifies as a movie and what's a special? Well, thankfully that's pretty easy. Just go to Wikipedia, scroll down, and there you go. Movies. Anything listed under this category qualifies as a movie and therefore qualifies for this list. Yes, even the All Engines Go Reboot movies. Will your favorite make it onto this list? You're just going to have to watch and find out, aren't you? Also, this should go without saying, but this is exclusively my opinions. If you disagree with me, that's fine. Let's just be civil about it. I know it's the internet and that's a big ask, but still. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Let's get started with my personal top five Thomas movies. Okay, hear me out. I know that objectively, this is not a very good movie. It's really shoddily put together, it's not very well paced, there's a whole lot of plot holes, and it was cut to shit in editing. So, while I know all these problems, why is it so high on this list, a number five spot? One word, baby. Nostalgia. Yeah, I will not even beat around the bush. This is entirely nostalgia blindness at play here. I can't help it. This was such an important part of my childhood, this movie specifically, that I will always have a love for it, even if I know it's not very good. I'll admit, I get a little teary-eyed at the Shining Time Station song. I always get a little bit drawn back in during the climactic final race. And furthermore, the movie was just so important to me as a kid being the first time I saw what was essentially my hero on the screen. Also, though I doubt it was their purpose, it did introduce me to actors that I still follow and enjoy to this day. Alec Baldwin, Peter Fonda, even Mara Wilson, though I haven't watched a lot of her stuff, I really enjoy. Yeah, no, I don't have much else to say on this one. I know it's not good, but fuck you, I'm nostalgia blind, bite me. I'll save a seat for you! You do that, Thomas. I will sit my ass down. King of the Railway. So, if you are in the Thomas fandom, this may come as a bit of a surprise that it's so high up. Not that people think it's bad or whatever, but more people just think it exists. So why is it so high for me? And I'll be honest, as dumb as it sounds, I just kind of vibe with this movie. 
like, I don't know, the first time I watched this movie just made me feel really nice. I really enjoyed a lot of the characters introduced in this, and with the story being a very simple rebuild a castle with a small treasure hunt on the side, I don't know, I just found myself really enjoying it. Now, there may be a bit of a bias on my part as well, because I'm going to be honest here, I love knights and kings and all that horse hockey. Like, this is the kind of stuff I love. And with the story being focused on a missing crown from Sodor's first king, that's just cool to me. Plus, it's really cool to get some lore on Sodor. It's not something you think about a lot, but it's really neat to see. So, of all the Thomas movies, this one just feels like it was specifically made to appeal to me. It's a bit of a silly reason, but hey, it's my list. Thomas and Friends, the adventure begins. If you ever want to know what I'd consider the perfect outline for a Thomas movie, The Adventure Begins would be it. It's honestly kind of brilliant, taking the first few Audrey stories slash episodes of the series and merging them all together, making one long narrative out of it. The first few episodes of the series already are kind of an arc, so it makes sense to merge them all together. And in my opinion, the movie does this really well, as well as expanding on Thomas as a character. We get to see him become blue, get the number one, we get to see him evolve as a character, and as a hero. The scene at the end where he has to rescue James is honestly some of the best animation the series ever has in CGI. We get to see a pre-Thomas Sodor. We get to see Thomas evolve his relationship with the characters. It's all honestly pitch perfect as to how I'd do a Thomas movie. So why is it not number one? Well, that's because the others do stuff I never would have even thought of. Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure Like making an entire movie where there's a treasure hunt. Legend of the Lost Treasure is easily the most cinematic and epic of Thomas's adventures. And this is including Magic Railroad, where it's revealed that it's an entire other dimension he's in. One of the reasons I like this movie so much is that, unlike a lot of the other Thomas movies, Thomas feels like himself here. He's really jealous of the new engine Ryan. He doesn't like him that much. So much so that he purposefully teams up with the first human villain of the franchise. Yeah, a human villain. That's not something you expected to see in Thomas, but honestly, the way it's done is pitch perfect. Casting the late great John Hurt as a Thomas villain really shouldn't have worked, but it did. And it leads to Sailor John being arguably one of the best villains the franchise has ever had. Again, despite not being released on the big screen, this is easily the most cinematic of all of Thomas's adventures. And yet, it's not my personal favorite. That honor belongs to... The Great Discovery. So I talked about how King of the Railway seemed to be a movie meant for me. This is that, but even more so. How exactly? Well, one, if we let this trailer play out that I totally didn't just lazily grab because I don't feel like editing, there we go. The man Pierce Brosnan himself narrating. I love Brosnan, and he narrates the whole thing like a bedtime story he would tell his kids. It's so charming. And two, it's models. Model work is far and away my preferred way of telling Thomas stories. And seeing them done on this level is fantastic. This feels like a true last hurrah for the model era. And considering when it came out, it kind of is. I also love the story and how, despite it being mostly about Thomas screwing up, in the end, all his friends come together to find him, almost every character from the entire franchise. At that point, I should stress. Also, The Great Discovery is really cool, being an entire lost city. It almost feels like something out of an Uncharted game. Huh, makes you wonder. 
There's even set pieces that feel like an Uncharted game. And I love how even though it's obvious Thomas is in the wrong, the new character Stanley does still feel bad. He realizes Thomas thinks that he took all his friends away. And he feels really guilty and is ultimately the one to save him. And I love the final shot with a bunch of the engines and I just love this movie. It's easily my personal favorite. Here's my personal ranking of all the movies if you're interested. And hey, feel free to put your thoughts in the comment section below. Because hey, even though we might disagree, we do all agree on one thing, I hope. Thomas is pretty cool. Thomas!